Hey there guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of my Chelsea career mode. We've hit episode number 24 today, not long to go, of course. And uh, we've got actually a game here against Leipzig that we're going to be starting off the episode with. I'm going to try and talk less in this episode, get it done quickly, get the games in. We've got Leipzig, let's get into it. This is going to be the side I'm using. I've brought in a few different players, and honestly, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's get three wins out of three in the Champions League. Come on, boys, come again. Only start her with Insigne. Is any just back from injury? Insigne and Bachu. Oh, what a brilliant save that is by the goalkeeper. Wow. Nearly a vicious start from the boys. We're in again here. It's going to be Bacuayi. Now Insigne. And the ball on the back here. Invites Mounier. Mounier. And Insigne. Off the line. And they've made a mess of it. And oh my god. Somehow we haven't scored yet. Hazard is in here. It's a handball. We get it anyway. Eden Hazard here. Looking to glide away from the challenges. They're trying to get near him. They just can't. It's an impossible task. It's Eden Hazard. And Bacuayi. Oh, he scored a goal. Roof of the net. Michi Bacuayi. That's what he wanted from him. The big man down the middle. Who else? Batshuayi. We make it 1-0. Lovely assist. Lovely goal. Here we go. Have a look at this one again. Fabregas played in Hazard. He almost did the rest, really. Brilliant left-footed cross and a really good rifle finish by Michi. Kante now. And here comes Hazard. We're looking for a second, that's for sure. Still eating Hazard. here, waiting for Batshuayi to make the run. Batshuayi has made the run. Michi Batshuayi! And he's done it again. What a delightful chip that was by Batshuayi. RB Leipzig. They're a good side, they've got some good players, but they're not sure just how well they work as a team at the moment. And Batshuayi is really pleasing the Stamford Bridge face here. And again, it's Eden Hazard. What a beautiful pull around the back that was. Look at this for a chip, though. Oh, are you kidding me? We just keep on coming in this match, though. It's like an onslaught. We just won't stop. It's Thomas Mounier now. Pulls it back. Michi Batshuayi has just scored one of the greatest goals ever here. I wasn't commentating, but look at this. Bang, what a header that is. Hat trick. I just wasn't expecting it. When it went in, I was just, I didn't know what to say. Look at this. We've made it 3 0 here in 30 minutes. It just is game after game, isn't it? But honestly, it's getting very simple here. Very, very simple. Fabregas here. I mean, what a pass that is. Here comes Insigne. Can he score from this? Lorenzo Insigne here. Cutting inside. It's still Lorenzo Insigne. Comes to Eden Hazard. And he's made it four, but he is offside. How unlucky is that? Lovely ball over that by Eden Hazard. Here comes Thomas Mounier. Look at that for a ball run to Insigne. Lorenzo Insigne is in. And he's hit it very high. It's a good save, to be honest. Here comes Hazard now. He'll be certainly looking to get in on the act here. Eden Hazard. And still Eden Hazard. And it's a really smart stop there by the goalkeeper. Oh no, real chance to lose the clean sheet here and it's off the post. And we've got away with one there, get in. And there you have it guys, the full time with some a 3-0 win. Goals all coming in the first half an hour here from Michi Batshuayi, who was just on fire by the way. Um, but I'm, I would just like to say that I slowed off a little bit in the second half. It was a dominative game. Uh, we had a nice amount of possession. All in all, I'm really pleased by that. We got to arrest Morata totally too. It was a nice conserved victory there in the Champions League against RB Leipzig. And we now have this game away to Arsenal at the Emirates. This could give us a massive lead at the top of the league, if I'm being honest. We've already played some tough opponents so far, but this is going to be really tough. It's a way I've gone to it back to a 3-5-1-1. Pause the video if you want to check out the lineup in more in-depth detail. We've got a really strong bench on there. You know the likes of Barkley, Insigne, William, Bacuayi. And yeah, let's get into this. Here comes Fabregas. Right, Bakayoko. Spin on it for us. Nice Bakayoko. Here comes Alexandri, tucks him around the back here to Hazard, Morata in a little bit of space here, not going to lie, Morata, Hazard, trying to find Bakayoko, Hazard now, and Alexandro! Oh, right foot, really good stop check. Oh, he's surrounding them really nicely there, now a chance for Munia, potentially on his first, Arsenal derby, what a moment that would have been, good stop again by Czech. Good lunge that by Fabregas, he's won it back nicely here, Fabregas, Eden Hazard! Oh, what a brilliant goal that is on the stroke of half-time. It had to be Fabregas, didn't it, getting the assist. And it is Eden Hazard who gets us a goal. It had to be him. Look at this great tackle, actually, by Fabregas. He just nipped it in there to Hazard. I and mean, look at this for a gorgeous finish. He always shows up against Arsenal. He's done it again here. That's a wonderful goal by you, Eden. Get it. Oh, no, they don't deserve this. And Lacazette nearly got it. He's always going to be a danger, boys. Need to watch out. Boys, Pete, players tumbling over here. Players tumbling over. And they should have equalised just wide. Mounier. Morata now, and he's dropping in here to Bakayoko, who's gone on a storming run here. Bakayoko, deflection off the post. That would have been a crazy goal to get, boys. Would have been a massive goal to get. Bakayoko, strong challenge that. Here comes Morata. There goes Willian. He's clean through here. Willian for Chelsea. And he's hit the post. Are you kidding me? We can't get a second here. That should have been a second. And get in there, boys. We've got ourselves the victory. It was a massive 1-0 victory in the end. The goal for me has on the stroke of half time, but honestly, it could have been so much more. Got a few filthy challenges in there, to be honest. But look at this. It was domination. A 50-50 possession. We just didn't get a second goal, and that laid it to be. 
bit of a nervy last couple of minutes, but we get the win. That's another win in the Premier League. We're really stomping in this one. And this now allows us to have some more slots for training here. I'm still going to try and improve Killian Hazard, but he's just not really budging at the moment. Tammy Abraham still going up and just finishing there, of course. And A and a C for Loftus Cheek, two beats for Killian Hazard, and a C for Tammy Abraham. And I've actually gone for quite a rested lineup because we've got some hard games coming up. And this is a side, feel free to pause, feel free to pause the video if you want to check it out. Plenty of ability on the bench, too, here, but you know, there's a few players that. You know, we had stronger lineups in previous rounds, but I still want to rest up. This is going to be a really good test because I expect Southampton to have their, their full team out. So with our fringe players, or even less than fringe players, like Pasalic and Baker have barely got minutes this season apart from preseason. Same goes for Jeremy Boga. So also Abraham starting on the middle. This is going to be a good opportunity for them to make themselves a name. Lewis Baker here. Here comes Charlie Musonda. He's just waiting for runners. He's got Marcos Alonso now. Marcos Alonso, Charlie Musonda. He'll get it back again here, Musonda. Probably going to play off him today. Certainly a future that Eden has on for this football club. Here comes Kurt Zuma. Back into Mario Pasalic. Now Lewis Baker. Wide for Marcos Alonso. Tammy Abraham, a big target in the middle. Do not get it mistaken. Here's Lewis Baker, though. Oh, what a brilliant save by the goalkeeper. Lovely build-up. Baker's got a hit on him. That's a really good stop. Tammy Abraham now bursting through all of the blend here. Still Tammy Abraham. He's now been approached by another. He gets him aside to Abraham. Couldn't find Musonda really quick enough here. Chance around the back now for Lewis Baker. who has got a great whip on him. Baker has Abraham with him. Laid off for Pasalic. Abraham and Mario Pasalic. Can he hit one? Pasalic. Oh, my God. I thought he did. That would have been crazy. Oh, brilliant chance now. It's Marcos Alonso. who's in. It's Alonso. A spot in Zappa Costa. He's going to get a chance now. Oh, my God. He skewered it. Oh, my God. He skewered it. I know he had like a little shove in the back, can we say. But he absolutely skewered it. What a gorgeous chance for Zappa Costa. I thought it was going to be the opener. Baker took far too long on that one. Rudiger trying to step up here, trying to make things happen. He's now left his spot, though. Good save, Jordan Pickford. Really good stop by the lad. Oh, my fucking God, if they've scored that. Kennedy now. Lovely ball far side. This Marcos Alonso. He can cushion it inside. Yep. Yeah. Lewis Baker, can he win the header? Yep. Yeah. Right, it's going well so far. Torgan Hazard now into his brother Killian Hazard. Killian Hazard, can he be the hero for us? Killian Hazard! Oh, not far over there. Not far over at all. Good win back that by Lewis Baker. Here comes Tammy Abraham. This might well be the moment for us. Tammy Abraham. Killian Hazard's in. And Tammy Abraham, and we've done it so, so late on in the 108th minute. We played it so, so smart there. So, so cool. And it's Tammy Abraham again. He's loving the Carabao Cup at the moment. We'll see how long he actually ends up staying in the side for, to be honest. Um, but look at this against top quality opposition like the the third team really are tearing them apart This is just fantastic. This is what we like to see from the youngsters Kennedy now is there one last burst? Can we make it two potentially Killian Hazard? We're playing it smart again here Killian Hazard now with another chance Killian Hazard Tammy Abraham trying to burst beyond here Tammy Abraham good save by Forster, but we've done it. It doesn't matter. We don't need a second goal We've got ourselves a 1-0 victory in 120 minutes of football Plenty of players have been used out here, and it has honestly showed me that my third team can come up against top-quality Premier League opposition and still get the victory. It's been tough, but honestly, when I've rested that many players ahead of the big game we got coming up next, which you'll see very soon, it was worth it. It was certainly worth it. Um, Spurs going out, that's how tough this competition can be when you rest up your key players. Bristol City joined to Man U, they beat them in real life. They have beaten them, they've beaten them on 4-3 on penalties. Wow, this is the magic of the Carabao Cup. Great couple of results there. We've got a press conference here, and this is just while I was resting literally everyone, not even the second team players were playing, because we've got City at the Etihad. I mean, I don't think it's going to be this hard in FIFA, but in real life, if that was going to be a fixture, I would be absolutely bricking it. But guys, we've now entered a new month, new things, new possibilities coming up. Talking to Hazard says, thanks, boss. Get in there. That's the news we've been waiting for. Match rescheduled there. We don't really care about that because we've been drawn our next Carabao Cup opponent. This guy is looking all right. This guy's looking fantastic. Got some good players here. I'm going to be getting rid of this guy, though. He just doesn't look like he's going to cut it. Three great players here, though. And in terms of new players coming into our academy, no, not going to be taking him. 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 Are we going to not take anyone? Not going to be taking him. Not going to be taking him. I only take the 94 potentials on the right-hand side from now on, as you guys have probably been able to notice. And here we are, then, guys. Manchester City. It's away. It's at the Etihad. This could honestly be our first loss of the season. I don't think this is going to be easy at all. We're in 1 p.m. It's going to be showers. It's at the Etihad. Uh, but you know what? The way we've been playing up lately, this could honestly get nasty too. I think it's going to go either way here. Let's get into it. I think if we get the first goal, we could really build on that, and it could get nasty. 
catch them up whilst they're trying to attack on us, but you know what, we'll see how it goes. Bakioka now, a bit of space for him here. Still Bakioka, can he get across Edison? Oh, decent try, good save. Corner whipped in here by Fabregas. Morata went up for it, Morata, good save, Edison. Bakioka. Morata, Hazard plays off him here. Eden Hazard, Morata's in here. Alvaro Morata, it's a clean charge. It's Alvaro Morata, oh no. Oh no, that was the chance. And I, I driven shot at it, trying to be all calm and collected, and I messed it right up. Fabregas now, and Morata with a potentially a second chance. Morata! Oh, this time! You thought he'd make no mistake, and he's hit the post. Oh my god, when is it going to go in for us? Bakioka always going to win that header. Here comes Eden Hazard. Morata on the spin. Can he get in again here potentially? Morata. Hazard on his effort. Oh, what a save by Edison. They're getting absolutely destroyed here, but Edison's keeping them in it. Gabriel Jesus now for City to give us an absolute sucker bunch before the break here. Still a chance there, Gabriel Jesus. And still Jesus. The ball comes back. Bakioko's challenge. It's not gone yet. Carl Walker. Chance on the edge. Oh my god, I thought they scored. Just wide. Good tackle, Alexandra. Here comes Hazard. Ball into the channels to Morata here. Trying to fool his man who's Otamendi here. Morata, he's well and truly done that here. Morata, tight angle. Doesn't care. Straight to the goalkeeper. Mounier, though. Oh, good tackle. Oh, no. Oh, my God. They nearly snatched it. Barkley. Moses. Here comes Lorenzo Insigne. It has Morata in the channels here. Morata trying to give it back to Insigne. They held him up for now, though. Still Morata. Lays one off to Kante. Now Bakayoko, now Ross Barkley, finds Morata, Morata now, and Ross Barkley! Oh, you thought he'd do it, Morata has done it, get in there, we've done it later on, Alvaro Morata in front of the Chelsea fans, come on boys, 87th minute, it came back to him, he didn't miss this one, he's been missing a few chances today, that's for sure, but Barkley's changed the game off the bench here, we've got to sit now, cannot let City back onto us, look at this, a really good block actually, but he wasn't up in time. He was winded. Morata just latched onto it. That's a great goal from him. I believe he's eighth in the league now. It's a massive one. Kante put his body in the way there. And here comes Morata. We're in a really good situation here. Alvaro Morata. He's got Insigne alongside. Lorenzo Insigne is in. It's going to be Insigne shortly for 2-0 Chelsea. Insigne. And he squares it to Morata. And he just makes no mistake. Get in there, boys. It's Morata again, again, and again. Look at him go. He slides in front of the Chelsea fans who've come down and celebrated with him. Tuning at the Etihad. He snatched it late on. I maybe should have finished that with Insigne, you know. To get him another goal. But he was unselfish, wasn't he? I was too scared of not scoring it. I was almost certain that one going and hit the post on the way and actually for Morata. But he's got a goal. He's got his ninth in the league. Well, guys, we left it late, but we do get the result. It's a 2-0 victory. That's what the fans came to see. Two late goals from Alvaro Morata, who was struggling to hit the target earlier on in the game. But honestly, we deserved it. That's another champion's performance from the lads. And now we can continue doing some more training here. Killian Hazard, Loftus, Cheek, Tammy Abraham still being trained, by the way. Leave me any suggestions for training if you want. And we've got two A's in there, actually. That's good progression from all of the players involved. I like that. And here's the lineup. We've mixed up a little bit. Batshuayi really been netting a lot in this competition so far. Of course, you've got, again, a, 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 what am I doing? You've got a hat trick against Leipzig last time out in the Champions League. More players coming in. The Loftus Cheeks tying in instead of the Kante. That's going to be interesting. One Willian and Insigne back on the wings. Got Zuma, Rudiger coming back in. It's going to be a good game. I think we can win it though. Loftus Cheek, lovely ball in the back here. Here comes Alexandro. Stamps down on it. Alexandro bursting forward here. Alexandro still. Still Alexandro. Batshuayi waits. Loftus Cheek coming in. Loftus Cheek. Oh, good save by the keeper. Oh, no. Real chance here for Celtic. And off the line by Antonio Rudiger. Or Kurt Zuma, rather. Sorry, boys. Oh my lord, I know I positioned him there, but they usually don't clear it. Oh, that's class defending there by Kurt Zuma. Wow, we've got away with one massive defending though. Oh my god, he's burst away there. Stuart Armstrong, and he's missed it. And Celtic probably should have had two by now. Alexandro now, played in for Ruben. Loftus cheek! Oh, he's at the crossbar this time. Boy, is he coming close. Oh, chance back Shawai. Shorty Michi. Come on, Michi. Get in there, Michi. He just cannot stop scoring in the Champions League. This one, we had to wait a while for it, I'm not going to lie. But it's back Shawai. You thought it might be. It is Michi. It's 1 0. Have a look at this one again. Insigne won it back. Lovely, straightforward pass from him, too. Look at this. Didn't have any time to do anything else. What a shot that is. Loftus Cheek. Here comes Barkley. Potentially willing to make it 2 0 here, Ross Barkley. Can he find drink water potentially on the edge? No, Ross Barkley still. And still, Ross Barkley. Oh, good stop at the near post. Unlucky. Whipped in here by Willian, though. Rudiger up for it. Oh, good stop by the goalkeeper on his line. Unlucky. And there's the end of the game. So we snatched a 1 0 victory there against Celtic. We knew it wasn't going to be easy, but Chelsea fans know that means we're top of this easy, easy group. So not a lot of goal difference going up, but it is another clean sheet. We're keeping plenty of them. Insigne gets man of the match. I would agree with that. He really stood out from the crowd today. Batshuayi's goal, though, the only difference in this one. 
Great start. And as we approach this game against Fulham, we've actually got a 10-point lead on Spurs and United. Very much like City this season, we are running away with this one. But winning our first 10 games out of our first 10 is really, really superb. But we've actually got some squad submission to do. I've mixed up a few things. I think I've brought in three new players. I'm going to show you who they are now. And the first one is Juan Mata. Now, the way I've done this is I've looked who's doing well, who's got a lot of goals. Mata's been killing it in the Champions League especially, but he's also been doing well in the Premier League. Ibora's got a few assists in there for Leicester. I thought I'd throw him in there. We don't really have a general place on the Bulls at the moment. For, so just for this one national team selection, he is quite a big guy. I thought I'd throw him in there. He's probably going to go out immediately, but I want to see how he does. He's coming in for Ian Mendy. And then Dana Fair is also going to be coming in here for Suso. Again, doing having a really solid season with Barca this year. Let's see how he does in there. And here we are then, guys. It's the game against Fulham. I think this could be a little more difficult than maybe we think it is. You know, Fulham, they, they've got a bit about them. Can they hurt us? You know, maybe they can. This is going to be an interesting one. You can see the line up there. Feel free to pause the video if you want to check it out. But we are going to be going straight to this one. Lee Mason's the referee. Let's see if that makes a difference. Here comes Ross Barkley. And Morata off the line. Eden Hazard. Another really good block there. That's our first good chance of the game. Fulham have been defending well. Come on, Fabregas. Open up the defence for us. Fabregas. Morata. Hazard, Marcos Alonso, nice and wide here, Alonso, still Alonso, and the ball comes to Barkley, good save by the goalkeeper, really unlucky, Eden Hazard over the corner, Morata in at the front post, Morata off the line, give me a break here, we cannot afford to be having that now, Drinkwater, Morata, back to Danny Drinkwater, back into Alvaro Morata, Alvaro Morata now, has Victor Moses there, Morata, there's the goal, there's the massive goal for Chelsea, it's actually a really nicely well worked goal there, and it is Morata. Oh, my God. And uh, another really long recording session for me here before I go on to tomorrow and we record the rest of the games today. It is painful. It is painful to record sometimes. But we got it. 76th minute. We needed it. We've got it. It shouldn't have been this hard against Fulham. That's worrying for the future. But what a smash by Morata. Moses, who did get the assist for that goal. Here comes Hazard. Plays it into his brother here. Torgan Hazard now. Can he find his brother again? Yes, he can. Eden Hazard. Twinkle turning into the box. Eden Hazard. Torgan Hazard. Alonso. Bakayoko and Danny Drinkwater, Barkley, Moses, oh brilliant goal, absolutely brilliant goal there and Victor Moses gets on the end of it, that's made me feel a little bit better about this one today and there we go, we've got ourselves a two goal lead, I think the goalkeeper should have been doing better here, really really weird the way this one dropped in but Moses in the striker's position doing well to get his head on it, look at this. Bang, what a brilliant header. Oh, goalkeeper should be doing better, but we'll take it. And well, guys, it ends at 2-0. Certainly was expecting more from that, but I believe the last time in 2013-14, actually, when Fulham were last in the Prem, we ended up beating them 2-0, but not a lot in this game. Moses is man of the match. I'd agree with that. A goal and an assist for the lad. Morata now on 10 goals in the Premier League too, by the way. Uh, it's a decent win. I'll take it, I suppose. Now we go onwards and upwards into the international break. I just got an email there from Lorenzo Insigne. He's actually a little bit unhappy with the role he's actually getting at the club. That's something we've definitely got to address in the next couple of days. I understand he hasn't been playing that much. But look at training go, by the way, on a more positive note. But uh, yeah, I've got to be careful with our big money move Insigne. We don't want to not be playing him. Right then, guys. And now we've got this game. It's against Portugal. This is going to be epic. This is a big game in the group. Even harder will be going to Portugal or Lisbon or wherever their stadium is. They're coming to Spain now. So if we get three points here, they're really going to be able to take hold of the group. This is going to be massive. Going for the full team. It's going to be interesting. But let's go Spain. Here comes Koke playing with Isco here in the channels. Isco first time. Born into Morata. Hey, Morata now back to Isco. You wouldn't expect him to get in behind Semedo. But that's where he's at the moment. Still Isco for Spain. Still Isco for Spain. Still Isco. Oh, what a brilliant goal that is. We take the lead against Portugal. Oh, boy. Isco's done it again, hasn't he? He's never really that prolific in FIFA, but in real life, he's honestly the star of the national team, I'd say, personally, anyway, over the past season with Lopetegui. But uh, look at this. He got a couple of big goals against Italy in real life. He's got a big, big goal here against Portugal in the 2020 Euro qualifiers. Isco, take a bow. Johnson, the entry for Portugal, and a nearly a goal. That's a really good chance. It's just wide there. Very unlucky. One more chance for the break here. Busquets. Alba. It's Koke, it is Thiago! Oh, what a chance for Thiago, and there's the half-time whistle, wow. That could have been another one. There's been some good chances at either end in this half, I would say. But I think we've been the better side so far. Let's keep it up, keep the possession. Yeah, let's keep going, boys. Busquets, Alba, first time ball in here to Koke. Koke spreads the play here to Carvajal, and there's Thiago! And that should have been a second. He's had some good chances to get Thiago. Busquets, Alba, a chance left for Morata. And the ball goes wide here, and he's in again here, Morata, he's clean through for Spain, Alvaro Morata, oh, good save in the end, I think I may have left it a little too late anyway, but that was still a good stop by Patricio. Asensio now is still knocking on the door here for this second goal, it's into Isco, 
It's around the corner for Koke. It's Asensio. It's Isco. Oh, it's off the post. It was Thiago, rather. He's had some really good chances today. He somehow isn't on the score sheet yet. Lovely ball in the back here. Alba struggling for pace. I wouldn't expect that, but he has been. The ball comes in anyway. And what a save by De Gea. That is point blank great. That's why we've got the best keeper in the world in net, my friends. He's pulled out an absolute bag of tricks there to keep that one out. What a stop. And there you have it, guys. We've got ourselves a massive, massive 1-0 victory. We created plenty of chances. Portugal created plenty of chances. And in what is going to be a game of the World Cup, um, we've actually ended up winning it in the European qualifier. Morata would man of the match. I believe he got an assist. Yeah, he did. So he had a good game. I, think all, I thought he scored su superb. We just didn't get enough of our shots on target. A really tight game, though, as you would expect. If we do come away with it, that is going to put us very, very high at the top of the group. Some training to do here for Chelsea, though. I think Torgan has not Torgan Hazard. Killian Hazard might be going up here. He has gone up. He's got two Cs there. A lot of Cs all around, really. Loftus-Cheek and Abraham making no improvement, though. Killian Hazard doing well. And for our second national team game of this international break, it's actually going to be at home to Scotland. It shouldn't be an issue. Scotland had only picked up two points out of their opening five games. We picked up 15, so we picked up 13 more points than them. That's four wins and a draw more than the Scotland. So they've been struggling big time, big time. So there's no excuse to not win here. I've made seven changes. Only Alba, Ramos, Carvajal and De Gea remain. Other players come in. Pause the video if you want to check it out. Ibora and Matt are getting there. Um, first starts under me anyway in the national team. And yeah, let's go. Carvajal, Ibora, Mata, and Alaba, Ibora, Mata, and this is Rodrigo, and Mata back on the back here. It's Juan Mata. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. He's been in great goal scoring form for United this season, and he's hit the bar there. Well, chances for Scotland to take the lead. Saved by the goalkeeper. Brilliant stop by De Gea. Wow. He's been coming up really clutch for us of late. Scotland. Having a really good game at the moment. They've got another chance here. Nacho intercepts it. Wow. Rodrigo. Dead affair. Mata. Rodrigo. Mata around the back again here. Mata. And still Juan Mata. And he pulls it up to Silva. Who always seems to score. Really unlucky. Um, with the way he got the ball. With the way he got the pull back there. It looks really tough to score from. I thought he got a little bit unlucky with the way it came back to him. But he still finished it. And when he scored now, Mata with the assist, he hit the bar earlier. He's causing issues in that left channel, really. Look at this. He waited, he waited, pulled back. Silver, really good swivel and turn. We've got maybe an undeserved lead here. A good, massive lead, though. Oh, good save by De Gea. They're really coming at us here, Scott. And that was Phillips this time. Rodrigo. Here comes Saul, our twinkle toes from Saul. Pull back post. De La Feo tries to win the knockdown. Still De La Feo lays it off. Ibora! Oh, a really good stop there. He's got a hit on him, Ibora, but he couldn't score that time. Ball whipped in here by Mata. Saul well up for it. Saul scores. A brilliant header there in the near post. It very much looked like it was going to be going over. But Saul simply doesn't care. He's got himself another goal here in qualifying. Turned out to be a regular goal scorer for us. That's Mata's second assist. Honestly, I can't see us replacing Mata in the national team for a while now. He's scoring a lot for United in the game at the moment, especially in the Champions League, which is obviously impressive. He's getting plenty of assists. And when he's coming to the national team here on his first chance, he's doing really well. Look at this. Great header by Saul, though. 2-0 Spain. And the game ends 2-0. I maybe was expecting a little bit more, but we made seven changes to the lineup. There weren't a lot of regulars in there, of course, and we've still got the win. Mata was man of the match. Thoroughly deserved. He got two assists to his name. Goals for Saul and David Silva. All in all, another comfortable performance. And Portugal have gone ahead and drawn again. Are they even going to be able to make it to the Euros, the 2020 Euros in this competition at this rate? You know what? They won the last one. Doesn't look like they're going to be winning this one. And now, guys, we are back with Chelsea and we're into the Premier League. It's going to be a way to Southampton. Honestly, I don't think this is going to be an easy game. They've actually made a lot and a lot of investments. Remember last time we played them, we struggled big time. If we get the first goal, then I think we could do it. I've made a few changes to the normal or the, the best starting 11. So, Batshuayi, Willian and Rudiger all come in for Manalas, Morata and Eden Hazard. So, three of our best players being rested here. But they, I think, I think they're on the bench. Let's double check that now. Oh, no, they're not. Hazard's not. Hazard's being rested completely. Yeah, fair enough, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, we've still got plenty of options on the bench. Don't we? Sonder and Barkley. Barkley may or may not have signed in real life. At the time of recording this video, he, like, probably has signed, but not official yet. By the time this video is released, he probably has signed. But this is going to be really interesting. I'm giving Matthew Ayo a start because I think he deserves one. He's been banging in the goals of late. Let's see how this one goes. Kante drives inside here through the heart of the defence here. And Kante now. And Batshuayi is in. Michi Batshuayi! Opens the scoring as we probably would expect him to do off of his goal scoring form of late. 
when he's rumoured to leave in real life at the moment in January for Chelsea. He just isn't really cutting it. But in FIFA, he's an absolute gem. I recommend you guys to pick him up maybe on, maybe on Ultimate Team, maybe on, even on your own career moves. He doesn't get bad whatsoever. And I decided to keep him here, not bringing like another striker such as Aubameyang or maybe Belotti or someone like that. Icardi. We've kept that shy. He's really proving his worth at the moment. That's a great finish on his weak foot. Kante gets the assist. His fourth in the Premier League is a sub-striker. That's superb. Kante got the assist for the first goal. Alexandra now in the channels to Insigne. Always wants to get it on that right foot of his here. Insigne going very direct now. Insigne! Oh, unlucky, unlucky. I think it chipped the outside of the post there. He is really looking fiery today. He's actually been complaining of game time of late, so I've played him. And he's putting in a shift. He's really showing why we should be starting him every game. Oh, brilliant from Kante. That. He's just so good at intercepting the football here. Insigne spotted. Back to Y, back post. Oh, what a save by Forster. Brilliant move again. Batshuayi, unlucky. Brilliant stop, actually. Corner in by Insigne. And Bakayoko's head ass. Another really good save. Wow, he's putting in a shift at the moment. Corner in by Insigne again. And here's Bakayoko this time. And Rudiger. And we've got a penalty out of that somehow. I mean, we've been absolutely dominating sometimes. And is that Lucas Vazquez there with the awful game face? Of course, it looks nothing like him. But I understand that they've signed him. And now he's just getting on the spot like a Jack Rabbit on a hot day. Look at him go. He's not stopping. Oh, my Lord. Some of the glitches I've actually discovered, discovered in his career, man. It's crazy. We'll skip that. But have a look. Yeah, it is Lucas Vasquez. I recognise that awful game face from a mile away. What's he done here then? I just see nothing wrong with that, but we're going to take it, of course. It is actually Willian. This is an interesting one. We don't have a lot of good penalty takers on the pitch at the moment. So it is Willian. Can he place onto the lap side of Forster? Yes, he can. He's very calm with doing so, indeed. And we've got ourselves another here. It's Willian for the Blues. And that is a fantastic spot kick. 2 0. We'll take that all day long. Really good performance here, actually. Really good, really good performance indeed. Very, very pleased. Here comes Batshuayi now, just hopping out of, the, out of the back line again. Now Insigne, and here comes Alexandro right on the back again. Alexandro, and this is Moses. First touch off the bar. Can he get the second time? He nearly did. Wow, what an entrance that would have been for Vic. Alexandro and Insigne onside here, Insigne. And there's Batshuayi, and over the top is Moses. Moses, and Willian. Oh, nearly a brilliant goal. Nearly a very, very brilliant goal. Unlucky, though. And there you have it, guys. The full-time whistle. 2-0 away victory, I do need to believe. Very, very nice um, result that for us, of course. Goal from Batshuayi. Also a goal from Willian from the spot. Kante, man of the match. I thought him and Bakayoko were superb today. Very comfortable. Very impressive. Let's move on. And we're going to be continue to train our players here. Killian Hazard's finally going to reach the 50 stamina mark. Don't know why he's got that low stamina, but he has. Lost his seat with an A and a C. That's decent. The rest of them, pretty poor. Now, Ross Barkley here, a player who is supposedly signed for Chelsea in real life here, wants to play. It's going to be a game away to Galatasaray, by the way. Um, and here it is. Now, to end, I'm going to be going really strong for this one. This is a side I'm actually going to be using. Look at it. It's full strength. But Ross Barkley says he wants to play. And we're going to listen to him, so he's going to be getting an act a bit of action off the bench. That's for sure at a later stage. But I've been resting up quite a bit in the Champions League of late, so I want to get the normal boys back to business. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Come on, Chels. Morata. It's Hazard. And it's Morata again in the channels here. Morata. And Morata. Oh, that's a brilliant save by Mosleda this time. Really good stop that. There's Kante, and here comes Insigne. Is he in here, Insigne? Insigne, he drops off from Morata. One more here to Hazard. Oh, and he really got underneath that. The front three combined that the MSN used to, but they can't quite get the ball in the back of the net just yet. Kante, here comes Morata. Flicked over here to Eden Hazard. He shoots Eden Hazard. Oh, the goalkeeper stood and watched. He couldn't do anything. He was helpless. Haven't scored it, though. Kante now. Oh, brilliant ball. Munia is in. Go on, Mounier. He's got a bit of a quick man on him. He swings in the cross. There's Morata. Oh, that's off the bar. It's not going in, has it? Oh, my Lord. Well, firstly, he should have used his head, but... Oh, he's missed it there. Alexandro back on the ball. Another Alexandro and Kante. Oh, my God. We're getting closer here. It's now Mounier. He hits one. Oh, what a goal that is. What a goal by Mounier. Well, he hasn't scored in a while for us. He really hasn't. But that is an absolute scorcher from the summer signing. Thomas Munia, he's really putting a shift for us, that is for sure. What a great signing he's turned out to be. He's absolutely huge as well. We've got there in the end. I think the assist is going to go to Bakayoko. We somehow didn't score from two previous attacks. But look at this, knocked down. Just one touch to control, and he just sliced him. Mosleda already out of his goal after making that huge punch. So that's another one for Munia there. His first in the Champions League this year. Here comes Oscar, the former Chelsea boy, causing a few issues, to say the least. Still a chance for them now. They're knocking it around nicely. It's Oscar. Lovely ball into Gomis. Gomez plays it wide. 
And now a chance that Oscar is in. Oh, he nearly crept in, Oscar. What a story that would have been. Courtois stops him. Oh, Alexander is really taking this on. He's just going to go with it, isn't he, here, Alexandro? And said Alexandro, he waits for Morata. He's got Morata. He's in now. Alvaro Morata. Oh, he's missed him. He's put it wide. Oh, what a chance that was for Morata. In real life, I didn't expect him to miss that one. FIFA is usually way more deadly than that. He's missed it, though. Fabregas. Oh, and here comes Eden Hazard. He might well be in here. So Fabregas pass to Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard. And now Alvaro Morata. Oh, he just doesn't miss them. He missed one earlier. But that was very much unlike him. And I've just spotted a couple of Chelsea fans there in the corner. That is indeed where they're situated. He's going to pick up the ball, fair enough. But yeah, we get the goal. Um, look at this from Hazard. He got away nicely. That's what Fabregas does. He immediately opened up the team. And he just, it was just hard to miss, really. And there is the full-time whistle. I didn't even have time to make three changes in that one. We only made two, but that's all we needed in the end. It was a 2-0 um, win match there. No goal for Hazard, no goal for Insigne. They had chances to score, to be honest. Munier scored, Morata scored. Very comfortable 2-0 victory, though. I mean, we are just dominating our group. Leipzig, Leipzig have lost to Celtic. Celtic now in prime position going into match day six to go through here. That's interesting. And Ross Barkley's very pleased he actually ended up getting involved in that last game. He was obviously superb off the bench once more. And we've actually now entered a new month, but that is where this episode is actually going to have to come to an end. Clark Salter wants to play. Absolutely not. Use his scout report, though. He's got plenty to do here, my friends. And look at these players, man. I mean, we get through so much an episode. We've got another scout report to get through here. I mean, I'm really tempted, I honestly am, but as I promised, I'm only taking up the 94s these days. Our academy is getting that good. Any other career, I'm not, I wouldn't be taking up these guys, but it's a new month, to be honest, now. And look at this. Have a look for any people going up. Mooney has gone up. Um, I think Morata might have gone up. I think Insigne, no, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's where this episode is going to have to come to an end. We've got a 10-point lead at the top of the Premier League. I'll be doing plenty and plenty more games in the next episode, believe me. But smash the like on this one if you have enjoyed it. I'll be back very, very soon for some more videos for you guys. Stay tuned, subscribe if you're new, and peace out.